Can Terra 2.0 revive from the dead? Or is it gone forever? Well recently there is a small twist in this whole controversy, and the community has seen a little ray of hope, so in this video we are going to discuss about it, so make sure to watch this video till the end. So as you all know Du Quan is going through a lot of legal trouble, and that the reason this project is currently in a sleep mode, there is not much happening with it, but recently there is a big twist in this controversy, the Terra founder has accused SBF of attacking USTPEG with 1 billion UST from Genesis. So although this is just an accusation, but there is a possibility. As you can see this tweet from Du Quan, he has accused Sam Bankman of intentionally dumping 1 billion Terra USD and billions of Bitcoin to depeg UST and weaken Luna Foundation reserves. So this tweet came in response to a New York Times article that reported that SBF is currently facing market manipulation investigations for a possible role in the Terra collapse. The U.S. prosecutors in Manhattan are examining the possibility that Mr. Bankman-Fried manipulated the prices of two interlinked currencies, TerraUSD and Luna, to benefit the entities he controlled, including FTX and Alameda Research, a hedge fund he co-founded. Although this investigation is still in early stages, and as of now nothing is proven, but the investigation is going on at a rapid phase. But Duquan suspects that FTX or Alameda took out a $1 billion UST loan from the now embattled Genesis to attack the UST peg. In addition, Duquan claims that at about the same time, Alameda borrowed billions in Bitcoin from Voyager to dump on the market and weaken Luna Foundation reserves. Duquan also said that it is not the first time Alameda has targeted UST. For example, in February 2021, UST faced a currency contraction due to a rapid 500 million USD dump by Alameda. Now all this are just accusation, so until SBF is proven guilty we cannot come to any conclusion. However you have to understand that SBF is not stranger to arbitrage trades against stablecoins. For example, at the height of the FTX collapse, Alameda opened massive shorts on Tether, temporarily depegging the stablecoin in what many believe to be an effort to make all their losses back in one trade. So all these things have given a little ray of hope, let's just assume if SBF is proven guilty for all this manipulation then Duquan would come clean, and obviously people who lost a lot of money in this cannot be recovered, but if you're a new investor or if you bought the bottom, there are chances we can make good amount of money in this, obviously it comes with high risk, as the investigation is still going on, but if Duquan comes out clean, Terra can easily gain over 5 billion to 10 billion market cap, that will pump the price from $1.50 to $39 to around $78. So let's wait and see what happens, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this whole situation. place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i beat my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody wants